Okay, hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial. Um, in this video what we're going to be doing is creating a download system. So it's sort of similar to my first ever tutorial actually, except that this tutorial, in this video even, we're going to be limiting the download speed. So this is just sort of something that you know you might want to do if you're hosting some sort of files or something like that and you want to make sure that it's not possible for, or harder, for one user to consume all of your server's bandwidth, therefore preventing others downloading the files, you can uh, limit the file download speed. Um, there are a couple of other ways to do this. Um, the web server Apache actually has a module that you can do this which is slightly better than the PHP way since it, you know, it uses less processing time and all that stuff but um, essentially it most likely does the same thing internally. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it with PHP because that's what I do. So, what we're going to be doing is creating these two pages here the first one is called file list and that's just a simple list of all the files and these are just some sort of nonsense files that I grabbed out of my uh, bucket folder actually so don't worry too much about the actual files but um, essentially they're just a few small files to flesh out the list a little bit and um, you know give us something to loop over in the folder but we'll get to that in part one anyway this large file here is the one we're going to be testing with that's a 700 megabyte file and if we just click on that you can see that I get my prompt. If I just download it with DTA, you can see I've tested it already, but as you can see it's downloading rather slowly at around 400 and something kilobytes. So this is with the speed limit in place. If I just stop this download, and on my other screen I just expertly comment out the bit that's causing the speed limit to, to um, disable it, in other words, and then if I just click start, you can see that it's going infinitely quicker. In fact, about 10 times the speed. Wait, 10, 100? Some. Some times the speed. So yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing. Um, and there is another aspect to this as well, this video, this series. Um, we're also going to be covering um, how to not use databases. Because this file list here is generated just from a folder um, and not from a database, which is how you might expect we'll be storing information in a list, basically. So yeah, just a small point is that databases aren't always the answer or you know there are other ways that don't need them anyway that's enough of me rambling and demonstrating so yeah that's basically it uh, so come back for part one and we'll get cracking on the code 